So, have you seen Varnay's latest sport sunglasses? We've got a few different models out there, of course. This one makes some improvements, in my opinion, over some of the older models. We'll see what you think after the fact. We'll pull out and compare. This is the Racing 1918. Now, of course, obviously, I'm going to do something with this. You guys know me. I'm a little bit of a car nut. So, anything that's racing or sport-inspired, that's... That's all me. I got this. So, anyways, here, without further to do or messing around, is the Varnay 1918. Now, you've got this nice little break in the bridge here. It lets for a little bit of airflow. Nothing too significant, so just keep in mind that is going to work like their other sunglass in that regard. We get a little bit of airflow around the lens, a little bit coming right through here. That's going to be the difference there. So it is going to give some breathing. But what's really cool about this, you'll see this wraps up really deep, really tight. They keep that shape nice and slim, so it's a really good profile for that sporty look. What's really a nice touch on this one, though, they've added actually adjustable temple tips on this one. So we can bring that in a little bit to actually fit and curve around the back of the head better versus before in most all their other sport glasses you've got pretty much a traditional sport temple as far as their deep wraps go now let's grab that so this is the 1522 this is their more traditional sport frame and you've got just the very basic nice little navy matte color all the way around simple little frame the temples let's see you've got a little bit of flex there so it's going to hold on its own to some degree and do pretty well in that. Now one thing I do like, this has a nice kind of a solid positive lock there almost to the way that hinge operates. That's one thing I do like better about the other model. But getting back to the one this is all about, the 1918. So the thing I do love about this frame, they've added some nice touches. It's not just that basic solid color all the way around, except for maybe the tips of the temple or a little bit here and there. They've changed the bridge fit, so that's going to be a little bit more universal on the bridge. Speaking of, you've got these actual, you've got the rubber pads here, so that's going to have just a little bit more bite and grip to it versus like on the 1522 you had just these little rubber inserts in the middle and that works okay but usually doesn't provide quite as much grip as the rubber just on that outside tip so it's going to hold on a little bit better that way this you can actually fit and adjust so that's going to hold a little bit better as well the good thing i think most all of these all the colors this comes in are polarized which is a nice touch for a sport pair even Porsche doesn't polarize all of theirs. <laughs> the company all about driving does not use all polarized lenses. Let that sink in for a minute. Anyway, so back to these. As with all of their sport frames, they are all made in France. All a nice nylon material, so very good, very strong. They still use glass mineral lenses. Really going to be strong, nice optics, more scratch resistant. All the good things you would come to know and expect from Varnay. There's a reason they're good. As I mentioned, the one thing I didn't like on this model, so you saw kind of that click, almost the lock into place of the temples on the other frame. This one's a little bit more like just a traditional temple on any frame. Just kind of folds in and out, pretty basic. You know, I did like the feel of the other one better, so I do have to give that to the older model. But as far as actually staying on your face, function, fit, everything else is better on this one so yeah, they're both good just gonna really come down to what you prefer and what fits the best on you overall I prefer the 1918 because again you've got that steeper wrap so it's gonna fit up really tight a little bit more narrow lens I tend to like that better versus like the 1522 or especially the 1521 where it's really a deep lens for a sport lens now, especially if you need a progressive that's a good thing so you know, there's trade-offs with all of this stuff, and we all have our own preferences. But what's really cool, so we've got a couple different variations of this frame here. So you've got kind of that classic brown look, which, you know, classic, not going anywhere. Always good stuff. I, of course, prefer 
a little bit more fun and wild frames. So here we've got what they call the dark blue. Now this, I'm actually, this is more of a metalized blue to me. You can't really make it out on the camera here, but there's a nice metallic sheen to that all the way around. Now the Varnay logo on here is actually raised, so that's a nice little touch. You've got that little break of color between the temple and the frame front. And then of course, again, the insert there in the middle, but also, all of these have that French flag coloration right on that top left lens. See, that is there on the brown lens as well. That's not limited to just one color. Now, that's one thing Vernet always does. They'll always release one frame that's got their French flag coloration on it. In this case, they've put that logo on each of these. So I'm curious if that's something we'll see going forward or if that's just going to be a throw for this one new model. I haven't seen it on the other newer non-sport models so we'll see maybe it'll be something on the new sport models i don't know but at any rate that is kind of a quick overview of what the new racing 1918 has to offer if you have any questions of course leave that in the comments below like subscribe leave feedback all that good stuff see you guys next time